undrafted free agent wide receiver Cade Warner with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers has made a very confident statement regarding his own talents and abilities and what he could potentially offer the Tampa Bay Buccaneers in this upcoming season. Pewter Report did have the report on this, so shout out to them as always, but there are some very interesting quotes here from Warner about his overall abilities. When talking about the idea of being overlooked and that type of mentality, Warner had this to say, I take everything personally. Like I was saying, from that undrafted, that walk-on mentality, every little thing. Like if the coaches pick somebody else before me, I write that down. If somebody gets more reps than me in this walkthrough, I write that down. It's kind of like that chip on your shoulder. I think just that expression is said a lot, so I don't like saying it, but I just take everything personally. He then went on to say, so I'm competitive like that. And I'm the smartest receiver in this draft class. I've said it before. They're going to get a good slot receiver out of me, and I'm going to know exactly what to do on every play. Folks, 33 wide receivers were taken in the 2023 NFL Draft. One of them was taken by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, by the way. Trey Palmer was a sixth-round pick by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. And Cade Warner is saying, hey, look, I'm smarter than all those guys. I work smarter than all those guys. I'm going to know exactly what to do every single play. I am going to be that dude as a slot receiver. That's a pretty bold thing to say. And while some people may view it as arrogance or cockiness or something along those lines, myself personally, I view it as a confidence thing. I think that Cade Warner is confident in his own abilities. I think that he is definitely willing and ready to work hard and get in and be able to show that hopefully, you know, he's able to put his money where his mouth is, for lack of a better phrase there. But it's going to be an interesting situation with Warner, given the overall depth that the Buccaneers have in their wide receiver room right now. You do have, obviously, Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, and Russell Gage. You did just sign David Moore. We'll see what goes on with that situation. I think that he could very easily stay on the Buccaneers 53-man roster. You did just draft Trey Palmer as well. He is another guy that I think you can safely say is going to stick on with with the Buccaneers 53 man roster. So then you have a few undrafted guys. You have Cade Warner in there. You have some other guys in there. Ryan Miller from for from uh, Furman being another interesting wide receiver in that mix. You've also got guys who are coming into their second year. Devin Tompkins, Kalen Geiger, Jared Stearns, I believe, was there for the rookie minicamp. He could be a guy in that mix. There's a few other names I'm forgetting, but the point being is that it's gonna be a dogfight for that last wide receiver spot if you assume two guys like David Warner and Trey Palmer are making the team, like I'm assuming, then it's going to be a very interesting battle. And how are guys going to be able to make themselves useful? Well, you're going to have to, good, have, to have good special teams play, and you're going to have to really separate yourselves in terms of craftiness, in terms of different things that you can do to make yourself valuable. So it is interesting to see Warner say this here. Again, very Good thing to see confidence there in your guys. We'll see what Warner is able to do, what he's going to be able to get done in training camp, in workouts, in preseason games. It's going to be a fun guy to pay attention to. I'd already talked about Warner in the past as being a player that we all should be paying attention to in these practices, in these preseason games, and all these other different types of things that are going on. But whenever you see quotes like this, that taking everything personally, I'm the smartest wide receiver in this draft draft class. I'm competitive like that. All those different types of things are just making the story that much more interesting, right? And just adds a little bit more intrigue to what is going to be going on at these practices. So we'll see what Warner can do. We will see how his craftiness, how his intelligence, how his slot wide receiver play, how his special teams play, how all of that is going to come together here for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers at the NFL level. As I've said before, Cade Warner, son of the Hall of Fame legendary quarterback, Kurt Warner. And it's just an interesting thing to see there from a, from a second generation player in Cade Warner to have that confidence, to have that overall poise, if you will, going into these upcoming workouts should be a lot of fun to pay attention to. But folks, what do you guys think about these Cade Warner quotes? Let me know your guys' thoughts and opinions down in the comment section below. I would love to hear them. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Hope you all enjoyed. And as always, folks, I will see you all in the next video or the next live stream. By the way, I'm going to be having a lot of shorts coming out here on the channel in the coming weeks, so stay tuned for that as well. I'm having a lot of fun doing shorts content. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the content as well. I think it's fun just to get more 
more coverage out there. And uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed that as well. But regular videos will continue as always. But anyway, folks, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed. See you all in the next video or the next live stream. But until then, and as always, guys, goodbye for now and go Bucks.